All right, okay, all right, here's the deal. To help you get started on this really exciting journey into the world of accounting, let's do E-10 together. In the seventh edition of Survey of Accounting by Warren, it appears on page 665. On January, excuse me, on November 2nd, Fibrosis Company purchased $1,800 of supplies on account. That means they receive the supplies and they're gonna pay for them later. When we're gonna pay somebody later, that's called an account payable. So part A asks us to journalize the November 2nd transaction. A journal entry is simply a record of a financial event that happens to us. And there are basically six rules for journal entries. The first is that all the debits equal all the credits. Debit means left, credit means right. If we have $1,800 worth of left-hand entries, we have $1,800 worth of right-hand entries. The other five rules are assets increase with debits. Assets are things that we own. Things like cash, accounts receivable, equipment, building, land. That's easy to remember because debit means left, and assets are on the left-hand side of the balance sheet. Liabilities and owner's equity accounts increase with credits. That's easy to remember because they're on the right-hand side of the balance sheet. Expenses are debits, expenses are debits, expenses are debits. That's easy to remember because I'm gonna say it 317 times over the next 15 weeks. The opposite of expenses is revenue, so those accounts must increase with credits. And the last rule is dividends look like expenses, but they aren't, they are debits though. So let's do part A, journalize the, trend, the number, November 2nd transaction. First of all, we put a date out here. Then we have to write our debit first. What is happening to supplies? Supplies is an asset. Assets increase with debits. So we're gonna debit the account supplies. For how much? $1,800. Notice that we don't debit bought supplies, we don't debit receive supplies, we don't use phrases, we use actual account titles here. That's really important. Next, we skip down, we indent a little bit, and we credit the account, accounts payable. When we're gonna pay somebody in the future, that's an account payable. That's $1,800. So we have an equal amount of left-hand entries and debit entries, $1,800 worth of debits, $1,800 worth of credits. Next, the problem asks us to prepare a T account for supplies. This is a T account. It has a account title at the top and it has some lines that look like a T. The left-hand side is the debit side. The right-hand side is the credit side said put in the uh, debit balance of 1050 as of November 1st. There we did that. And it says prepare a T account for accounts payable. Do the same thing down here. Put the account title at the top, T. And then out here, the balance is 15,600. That's a credit balance. So it goes on the right hand side. So T accounts are just graphic representations of our general ledger accounts. They help us make decisions and see what balances are in our accounts. Lastly, it asks us to post the November 2nd transaction to the accounts. So we have a supply debit of 1800. Debit means left. So we transfer that $1,800 over here. And we have $1,800 worth of credits. So we've got to put $1,800 over here on the right hand side. Okay. It didn't ask us to do that, but if management came in and asked us what our balance was in our supply account, we could say, well, we have 1,050 plus 1,800. We should have $2,850 worth of supplies in that account. And then if management asked us how much we owe to our suppliers, we'd say, well, we started with a balance of 15,600 and we added $1,800 yesterday. So we owe our suppliers 17,400. That's all there is to the first two steps of the accounting cycle. Create a journal entry, then move them into the ledger accounts. In other words, post them. All right, I hope that helps.
and I look forward to seeing you guys the first night of class.